What is going on guys, it's Drakesy and just a quick one before today's video does start, be sure to subscribe to the channel because when we reach a thousand subscribers we're going to be doing a giveaway on the channel. The giveaway is going to be for a gift card, whether that be on Microsoft or Sony, the gift card will depend on the platform that you're on. So if you do want a chance to enter this competition, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. What is going on guys, it's Drakesy back again with another best possible squad on the channel. Today's squad is going to be a best possible Czech Republic squad in FIFA 18. As of making this video, we are somewhat near the beginning of FIFA. FIFA's been out probably about a month and a half, potentially two months. So not all the informs and special cards are out. So we will, at the end of FIFA 18, revisit this team and see how it has improved. But for now, as of making this video, this is the best possible Czech Republican squad in FIFA 18. Now just before we start, we are in fact running with the 3-4-1-2 formation today as this is the squad that gets the highest rating overall for a squad and without any further ado, let's get into the goalkeeper. Starting us off in net, it is in fact Petr Cech of Arsenal, a fantastic, fantastic goalkeeper and I believe the highest rated player in this squad overall. As we can see, Petr Cech's card is a rare gold 86 rated goalkeeper card, 1 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, 82 diving, 81 reflexes, 87 handling on his card is absolutely incredible. He's also got 83 positioning and those are his stats in the 80s. And he's also got 76 on kicking to back that up, but his speed is probably his weakest and uh, probably his main downfall on the card. Now we move up to the first centre-back of the team and that's going to be this guy, Pocorni, I think so you would say his name. And as we can see, Pocorni's card is a 74 rated rare silver centre-back. Playing for, I believe, is it Montpellier, who I think are in the French first division. I could be wrong on that. But as we can see, he has two star skill moves, three star weak foot, 62 pace, 60 dribbling, 61 passing, 73 defense, and then 76 on uh, physical, sorry. So yeah, as a centre back, not the worst card. Some decent defending stats. His pace could be a little bit better, but his passing and his dribbling aren't too bad for such a low rated card. Across from him we come to the second centre back in the team and that's going to be this guy Kalas. As we can see Kalas once again is another 74 rated rare silver centre back. This time playing for Fulham he's also got 2 star skill moves and 3 star weak foot. But on his card he's got 75 pace which is fantastic for a centre back of his rating. He's also got 73 defending and then 75 on physical. So as a defender the main stats I look at are pace, defending and physical. And he's got all three of them in abundance so a fantastic card there for this team if you do build it. He's also got 65 dribbling which I've just seen which isn't too shabby either. And to finally wrap up the defence, we come to this guy, I think you pronounce it as Suchi. Suchi, I could be incorrect, but looking at his card, he has got a non-rare gold 78 rated centre-back card. Playing for Basel, I believe that is out in the Swiss League, I think it is. He's got two star skill moves, three star weak foot, just like his other two centre-backs. This guy's got 63 pace, 65 dribbling, 78 defending and 79 physical. So a very, very strong defender-like player, but once again, lacking a little bit of pace. But looking at the layout of this, this defence could potentially work as a three-man back line. With Pocorni and Suchi sitting back, we could potentially have Kalas pushing forward and making the tackles early on players, while Suchi and Pocorni are there as backup. So potentially this could work as a layout of a back three. Now we move up to the right midfielder position and we do have this guy called Sural. He is a 79 rated in form gold card. As we can see he's a right midfielder playing for a team that I've never even seen the crest of. He's got three star skill moves, three star weak foot, 80 pace, 83 dribbling, 83 shooting as well. He's also got 80 passing and then 81 physical. His defending is, is much, very, very weak. He's much, much by far his weakest stat. But overall, as a right midfielder, a pretty solid card with every stat in the 80s apart from defending. Then we move into the centre of the field to this guy, I think is it Darida, Darida, I think so you will pronounce his name. And as we can see, he is a 79 rated non-rare gold centre mid card, playing for Hertha Berlin in the Bundesliga German First Division. 
He has three star skill moves, three star weak foot, similar to Sural before him. He's got 69 pace on his card, which is not too shabby for a midfielder. He's also got 80 dribbling, 74 shooting, 78 for passing, and then 60s in his physical and defence. So, not too bad as a card overall. Definitely the strongest dribbler in, um, in the midfield, I would say. Uh, but yeah, a pretty decent team so far. And now we're going to move on to the guy next to Dorida. And that's going to be this guy, Jankto is how I would say his name. I don't know whether that's right, Jankto. But as we can see looking at his card, he is a 79 rated rare gold card. Um, playing in the centre of the field for Udinese. Three star skill moves, three star weak foot. And then he's got, si uh, sorry I nearly said 69 but he's, um, I'm looking at Darida. But yeah he has uh, 82 on his pace which is fantastic for a midfielder. Then he's got 76 for dribbling, 68 shooting which isn't too bad for a midfielder. But then he's got 74 for passing and once again some decent physical and defensive stats. So kind of perfect midfielders for a three-man back line. Two defenders, uh, sorry, three defenders who are all right as a partnership. And then you've also got two midfielders who can throw in a tackle if you need it. Now we move up to the left midfield position and as we can see it's this guy, I'm not too sure how to pronounce his name, I'll give it a shot, I think it is Kerechi, Kerechi is how I would try and say it. Now it is a bit of a shame that in fact Pavel Nedved who was in FIFA 17 I believe has been took out this year from one of the legends slash icons. So if Pavel Nedved was still in FIFA this is the position he would be taking but instead we do have Kerechi, I think so you say it, uh, in instead and to be honest he's a decent replacement, he's no Pavel Nedved but he's all, got an alright card. Looking at his card he's a 77 rated non-rare gold card, he's a left midfielder playing for Badlania in Serie A, he's got 4 star skill moves, 2 star weak foot, 85 pace, 80 dribbling, 70 for shooting and then 76 for passing. Those are his key stats, he's also got 60 physical which isn't too bad but yeah as a card he's pretty solid for a 77 rated non-rare gold. Now we move up to the centre attacking mid and that is going to be ex-Arsenal player Thomas Riziki. and as we can see Thomas Riziki's card is a pretty decent one I would say for, for, for what his rating is, his stats aren't too bad on his card. But once again, he's a 79 rated non-rare gold card, he's a centre attacking mid, and the team crest is the same as the right midfielder Sural's. So I did my research, and in fact, I believe it is Sparta Prague, that logo. So yeah, the team that him and Sural, the right midfielder, play for is Sparta Prague. Now looking at the, uh, the stats on his card, he's got 3 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, not too bad. He's also got 73 pace, which is somewhat perfect for a centre attacking mid. He's got 83, 82 dribbling, sorry, um, which is fantastic once again for a centre attacking mid. Uh, 70 shooting, 79 for passing, and then 63 for physical. So if I could ask for anything more from him, potentially a bit more pace, but not by much. Um, his shooting isn't too bad for a centre attacking mid, his passing is perfect and his dribbling is perfect. But yeah, his physical could be a bit higher maybe too, but as a centre attacking mid, Thomas Riziki seems pretty solid in this team. And from one Sparta Prague player we move up to another one. The penultimate player is going to be this guy, Lafata, I think so you would say his name. And as we can see, to be honest in my opinion guys, uh, he is probably the weakest card in the team. Sadly, he is one of the highest rated strikers, so he does manage to get into the team. But looking at Lafata's card, he's just he's, he's really weak in my opinion. He's a 72 rated rare silver card striker. Two star skill moves, three star weak foot. 55 pace, which is absolutely atrocious uh, for a striker, that is. Uh, and then his main stats are he's 66 dribbling, he's 73 shooting, he's 64 passing, and he's 71 physical. So I understand that he's more of a physical striker, probably try a few long shots with him if you're playing, but if you look at that pace, he does have 55 pace. Um, and then if you look at his work rates, which are beside his card, that means two greens mean high, high work rates. So for a striker of his rating, his speed, high, high work rates are just going to be kind of ineffective on his card, making him not too good. So if you do build this team, I would potentially look about at getting another striker in this position. But yeah, Lafata is the highest rated for this position. 
And then the final player in this team is going to be this guy called Suchik, I think is how you say it. And to be honest, guys, I don't know whether it's just me, but this guy looks like a complete replica of the famous YouTuber Will and E. So I'll flash up a picture of Will and E if you don't know who that is. But to be honest, guys, I can't help but see the similarities. So we might call him Suchik, but potentially we'll call him Will, Will and E because, to be honest... I'm fully believing that it could be him. But looking at the ratings on Suchik's card, he is a 77 rated non-rare gold striker card playing for Roma. He's got 4 star skill moves, 2 star weak foot, 76 pace which is decent, 79 dribbling which is also decent, 75 shooting as well making him a perfect striker card so far. And then he does have decent passing and physical 69 and 68 respectively. So yeah, to be honest, He's not a bad card to be wrapping up the team. There's a few strong links, as you can see, throughout the team. And uh, yeah, overall, as a team, it's not the highest rated, but definitely a solid one. And to be honest, you could probably play with it and still get a few results. Uh, so yeah, that's my opinion, guys. This is going to be the best possible Czech Republican squad. If you have enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. There's plenty more of these on my channel. If you do enjoy best possible squad builders, be sure to go and check them out. But thank you very much for watching. I've been Drakesy, and see you in a bit, guys.